Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to get started using the Easy Builder WP plugin. So first off, I'm just going to show you how to navigate through the interface. So I've set off a test campaign. We can go ahead and click Manage Campaign. Here I just want to show you how it works. First you have to manage your pages. I've created a sample page and you can see it's taking a screenshot of that page. We can go ahead and view that page by clicking on that. And it will load the page right here. This is a sales page template. And uh, we can go ahead and click on create new. We're going to give a page, a new page. Oh. And uh, as you can see here, we have a bunch of page templates to get started. So you can go ahead and create unlimited pages, but we can go ahead and create a sales page, a landing page, a banner page. Uh, a video page and a review page, thank you page, a members area page with download links, and a blog page. And then we just click on them and it'll highlight in blue. And uh, let's just go ahead and click on and create a thank you page. Let's call it new page. And then it will see it will do page seeker and it will create a thumbnail. So it'll create a thumbnail when it was. Uh, at the time, so we're gonna make changes. So let's go ahead and see this. So we viewed this in a browser, and let's quickly go ahead. Well, before I jump into the live editor, let's just go ahead and see how I can change this page right here first. So we can go into the design settings, and we can go ahead and give this a header image and a background. I'll jump into that in a second. First, let's go ahead and change the typography to Georgia and drop shadow. We can give it a drop shadow. We can also round the corners off. They're 10 or 5 pixels. And this will affect all pages. So I want to show you an example of that. So we load the page and now the background is white with the drop shadow and the rounded corners. And Georgia is the font, obviously. And this will affect all pages. So let's just go ahead and view this thank you page that we just created. And then, of course, it's the same exact same settings so let's go ahead and SEO settings so the browser title we have the meta description the meta keywords we have the footer let's just go ahead and grab some content to put in the footer and then go ahead and put our own custom CSS and our own JavaScript if you want for tracking etc and let's go ahead and get this page and now it can't see it, but in the browser title now has a, a title there. Let's go ahead and change the background to a little darker. Save that. And I'm going a little fast. I'll slow down so uh, then you can go ahead and see that it's darker. So we made a few changes to the both of our pages, and as you can see, all the, cha the reflection changes reflect on all pages. Let's just go ahead and click reload thumbnails and this will allow us to go ahead and reload these thumbnails right here. So let's just go ahead and click that and go back to our thing. Click on reload thumbnails and it will reload each of these thumbnails so you can see the reflective changes. So now let's just go ahead and jump into the live editor. So before we do that, actually, I know I'm leading up to it, but uh, let's just go ahead and delete a page. So I'll say, are you sure you want to delete it? You can go OK. And the page is gone. And you can also delete the campaign by clicking right there. This one's uh, very important because if you have 20 pages for this campaign, it will delete all those pages as well. So make sure not to do that if you don't want to. So you can create unlimited campaigns. So manage campaigns right here. You can see we have one for test campaign. This is the number of pages we have for the manage campaign. We have one page right here. So now we want to edit this page. So let's go ahead and click on this edit button right here. And this will allow you to edit your page inside your web browser. If you are using an older browser, it will pop up and tell you you're running an older browser that may not be able to use the HTML5 editing 
capabilities. So you have your page. So this background is just showing you that it's the editor. You have this editor bar right here with all these little buttons that allow you to bold, italic, and change the justification to center and right, left and right. You can add an image. You can add a link. You can add lists. You can add paragraph tags and header tags. You can add your own HTML code right here. You can also add anything to a blog quote and we'll also add some content which we'll get into. I'm going to click on save page and then you'll see the changes reflect. So first thing you're going to want to do is click on any of the text on all of this page and as you can start editing it right away. Let's just go ahead and start. Uh, we can edit that inside of our browser. We can also take this and turn it into a smaller headline. Let's just select the whole thing. Click on this and change the color. We'll change that to a red right quickly. And uh, we can also go ahead and change these into smaller headlines as well. And uh, if you see an image that has an icon, say this one has an icon right here, we can click on it, which is an image, and go over here, make sure it's selected and highlighted, and go to insert an image, click on that. We'll put a uh, link to an image right here, which we have already ready, and that will put insert the image right there. And we can go ahead and do that for this one as well. And since those are big icons, I'm just going to go ahead and change back to a H5. Change this one to an H5 as well. And uh, so, yeah, now you can go ahead and just change things into like a block quote, or you can just go ahead and click this and click on right here, highlight that, and click on that, and we'll just give that a link right there. Or if you want to add HTML, the only reason we're writing that and we're selecting it and giving it a position, and we're clicking on the insert HTML button. And we're gonna go and give it a an HTML tag right here. You can. This is where you'd put in your embed code videos if you want, but I'm just gonna show you that in a second. So there's your HTML right there. So let's just click on save. Successfully updated your page, and now let's just go ahead and view our page. And uh, you can see it has a background, the drop shadow, the round corners, the Jake, the Georgia, and that is our sales page. And so the point of Easy Builder is to make a campaign, so not to just have one page. So let's just go ahead and create a new page. Let's go ahead and create a video page right here. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. just because it did not have a title. You, may, you want to give them each page name a page, at least a name, at least. You want to name this because you have a hundred pages for per campaign. Go ahead and create a new campaign, a new page. Go ahead and click on the editor for this page. And so let's just go ahead and this serious video. Go ahead and so make some changes. Let me change the color of it. So I have a video set up right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste this embed code. For, click right here. Click add a video or image. You can add a vid video or an image here. And uh, this image or video will automatically resize to 100%. So you do not need to figure that out yourself. So you can go ahead and just click on insert HTML, paste in the code, and it will show up right here. It will show up kind of squished right here, but when we'll save it, let's go ahead and give that a different color. So I'm going to 
just add a link because we have a video. And I'll just go ahead and add a link somewhere. So no matter where, so let's go ahead and save this page. Let's come back here and click on our page. And as you can see, it can just like our other one, so it's a campaign. So now this is our video page. This is our sales page. This is our video page. So let's just go ahead. So as you can see, when we start building our other campaign, you can start making more pages like a banner page, a blog looking page, members average page, and you know, affiliate page for reviews. There's a whole bunch of different pages you can do. And uh, so this gives you a bunch of flexibility. Also, you can go with a blank page. Let's go ahead and do this. You can do this for uh, any pages. Let's go ahead and make a blank page. Save that. Click on our editor. And now I have nothing there, but we can click on add content. So we have one column, two columns. We have one column, so you can have one column like that. You can click on two columns. So we have a column right here and a column right here. And then you can do the same thing right here. So now you have three columns and four columns. And you can we can just go ahead and save that. And so we turned a blank page and turned it into a page that is ready for content to write in literally only seconds. So so now see as you can see it maintains the same style. That's the like the main point right here. So let's go ahead. And see, so as you can add content in here, you can also add content inside of this page. So you can go ahead and click on, let's go ahead and on, add a column right here. Click on save. Go back to our page. It load that stuff in only seconds. Depending on your internet speed. But there, boom. So now you have that. If you wanted to add, actually start editing that content obviously you just select it it's better to double select to double click and select the box start editing so let's just go ahead and click on this just select that right there make it bold italics and underline and just go ahead and select all of that and we're just going to collect that it's going underneath there I will fix that later. As this is version one of Easy Builder, we are taking your feedback and we will be building version 2.0. So we will be taking your feedback as to make this editor better. So let's just go ahead and show you how to create this page a little bit more. So let's go ahead and go back to our design settings here. And uh, I already have a header image right here. Just go ahead and copy and paste this one. Go ahead and put it right here. Let's go ahead and save that. Let's see what happens to our page. And now you can see we have our header and our rounded corners. So if you put uh, no rounded corners, it will line up a little bit better. But it looks alright with rounded corners as well. And I have a background image right here. So you have to provide your own header and background, but that allows you to have more freedom. So you can put the background image and then you can select the background color or you can select how the background image is repeated. So you can go no repeat in the top left or top center or top right, or you can repeat it along the top if it's a repeating graphic or repeat it down the middle, or you can repeat it all over. So this one's going to repeat, or actually going to be no repeat top center or try that one out. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and change some settings right here. And we can also try the bottom one. Let's see our page. And see this is the background and our header. And it lines up because we didn't put the uh, corners. And there's our page. And see that's our background color right here. So let's just go ahead change that to a dark color and there you go and so if we reload some of our other pages right here like our sales page without touching it it's already been automatically created so if we get a whole campaign 
right done with around like 10 pages we have a whole campaign and we realize that we need a new header and it needs to be on all pages just change it once it's right there and this also works on Facebook timeline because the width is 108 110 pixels so it will be this it won't, won't show the background but it will show everything else and uh, so let's go ahead and just go ahead and create one last page and uh, so let's go ahead and create one last page right here so let's create our last page and let's go ahead and create a blog page This is a blog page, so you can make a content article page. So the reason I just want to show you is I want to take this image of this guy right here and just show you by putting him right here by clicking that. And then boom, there's our little guy. His name is Tom. So now we can just go ahead and save that. Just made an article page or a blog page in only a few seconds with our little photo of ourselves and as you can see that's the potential and you can do much more with this and you can manage your pages so you have a test campaign of four pages and another campaign so you can basically have unlimited amount of pages uh, unlimited amount of pages and campaigns and since they're organized together, you can have this, you can, this comes with a developer license, so you can technically put this on as many blogs as you want, but given the amount of options you have, you don't need to do that. And uh, so if you have all your, uh, your snapshots like this, and they don't match or anything, you can just go ahead and click on the reload thumbnails, and this will reload all the thumbnails and allow you to see the, the commonalities of your whole campaign. And uh, thank you very much for watching.